hey and welcome back to the channel today is all about updates i'm going to let you know some home updates that we're doing as well as school updates for this coming school year as well as workout updates so today is a whole video of updates be sure to watch all the way to the end so that you can see tonight's recipe as well as taking you along with us through some of our day as i share those updates so Keep on watching. My workout regimen has been a little bit different. I was actually doing Derek Wieda's 12 week program, which is kind of like a CrossFit style workout. When I finished that, I realized that my body was really sore. My hips were really sore all the time. I was having a lot of issues with one of my shoulders. So I decided to do something say a little bit less weight training style-ish, I guess. Um, and I'm actually doing a free YouTube workout program by Heather Robertson. It's a 12 week program that she has and I have been loving it. I'm, I'm starting on week three today um, and I highly recommend this program. All you really have to have is a few varieties of some dumbbells as well as a exercise ball and I, or medicine ball and I actually haven't even been using the medicine ball but I've really enjoyed the program because it gets my heart rate up. I've noticed that I'm only burning maybe 30 calories less by the end of a workout, but my body feels totally different. It has a lot of tension movements where, and hip movements where you're kind of like keeping those muscles like contracted for a longer period, but you're not using like heavy weights. So I think this was a great, almost like recovery style workout program to transition into after doing a lot of like weight training and more rigorous workouts. So that is what I'm currently doing and I'm really loving it. I haven't noticed anything physically changing in my body yet, but I feel great from it and they're all like 30 minutes or less. You get a warm up, you get the actual workout itself and then a cool down. So I really like it, highly recommend it. I will have the workout program that I'm doing um, linked below. So it's super easy, free, anybody can join in. And if you decide to join in, make sure you leave a comment and let me know, and let me know what days you liked, and you know, we'll be doing it together. We'll be like a little mini workout thing. So. And yeah, I think Lila has a little update to share with you guys. I was watching ABC Mouse. Oh, hold on, hold on, what's wrong? Popped it out. Yep, so there's another tooth gone. Let's see where that one was at. This girl has lost so many teeth. You look so cute today. I love your outfit. Super cute. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh it's only for the video. <laughs> I'm in my room today, and today is a little intro about my room. Rosie, you go potty. Isn't it exciting? Something you might be saying, but we know your room. But. Does this look new? This is a brand new bed. The first room that I wanted to show you that I really haven't put a lot of effort into doing, I just switched the big girls from a twin size bed and a toddler bed to a queen. So they're sharing a queen bed now because Emmy was having nightmares at night and they, I felt like it would just be easier if they slept together. So this is their new bed. This is really, like I said, the main thing that we actually did in their room. This is a queen size bed. We were actually given the bed and the mattresses from a family member. And I just went to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I got these sheets from Home Goods. These are, um, I think, Ralph Lauren. And then I got this nice little, I don't even know what you call this stuff. I don't know how to do bedding, guys. So I got that as well. And then I also got these big oversized pillows. And I got these little lights. I can't remember what you call, oh, twinkle lights. They're called twinkle lights. I got those as well. And then I actually scored this rug off of Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. I was super excited about that. So it's a five by seven. If you have older mattresses and it's not that comfortable anymore, we added a two inch memory foam on it and it made such a difference for the girls. So highly recommend the memory foams and Oh, that's beautiful. It's not done yet. I still <laughs> got to color in all the rest of my birds. So I highly recommend upping your mattress comfort level by just getting a memory foam topper. I ordered this one off of Amazon. I'll have it linked below. Okay, we'll go into the twins room now. This is the room that I've been putting the most effort into, even though it's not anywhere near done right now. So this is their room now. I have, all I've done so far is I actually got these beds. I am obsessed with these little beds and they're 
awesome because they have these sliding rails right here. So the bed, the actual width of the bed is a twin size. And then as of right now, I have them pushed in so it's a um, toddler bed, but these will extend all the way out to a twin size bed. And then you just get the extra mattress pieces that go in. Um, so I got these at Ikea and I absolutely love them. So as you can see, this room is very bare still. I have so much to do in here. I have holes to patch. I'm painting this room. I have vinyls coming in on this wall, but I really wanted to show you this room now before much is done to it so you guys can see the after. They have a really cool little view though from their window. I planted all these plants right here. So this is a saucer magnolia tree right here. And so when this blooms, all the flowers kind of like fill up this window. And then in the summer, these huge elephant ears kind of just come up to the window and I love that. Mushrooms. You found mushrooms? Yes. We found a giant mushroom, almost like this one. Those are really pretty. And Wow. Oh, well, let me see what else you found. They... Worm. A worm? Mm -hmm. And this is a nettle pretty mushroom that we found. Oh, that one's cool, huh? Yeah, the, uh, mm -hmm. this, this, this. This one is heavy and what's that? I guess I can't. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one is a Lucy says. Oh, okay. This is a diamond. It's a hole in it. Oh, it's a tiny one with a hole in it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, the end. The end. <laughs> Lala's been watching a YouTube channel called um, Raw Fam or something like that. Welcome to the channel, Raw Fam. We're about to have a rad video today. <laughs> They take little pools and they fill them with like fish and stuff like that. So she's filled this pool up and made like a mini habitat. And she's been catching minnows at the pond and putting them in it. So far we only have two, right? Yeah. Also, what happened yesterday? What, what happened yesterday when we went to set the bouncy house? A mom mouse actually made a nest in it and she nested it. She had three little babies. Three. And look what she did to her bouncy. Comment down below if you know how to fix it. Okay, let's talk school for like five seconds. So, we did decide to homeschool again this year, which assumingly most people, well not most, but a lot of people are actually doing as well. So, I wanted to kind of just tell you what I was, what curriculums I chose. I will do a full video and I will show you a little bit into some of the books that we actually purchased, but I was just gonna kind of run over really quickly what we decided to do. So I took an online test for myself um, about what type of homeschooler I am, and it came back that I was an unschooler. But I'm also like a type A personality, and I feel like I don't trust myself to unschool my kids to the level of not having any kind of curriculum. So instead of going fully extreme one direction and not having any curriculum or going fully extreme to where everything is covered in one curriculum, I kind of met in the middle and I picked core classes for a first grader. Um, so I picked a math curriculum, I picked a reading curriculum, and then I did put, just fill in with a little bit of writing. The rest of her curriculum, like science, um, history, all of those kind of things, I'm just gonna fill in through life. Um, I'm gonna be intentional about allowing her to cook with me. I'm gonna be intentional about um, what they watch during the week and making sure that I'm picking out like either documentaries or something. And then if their interest is sparked in something particular, we're gonna sit there and just kind of like dive into it. So that's my idea for right now. Let's talk really quickly, really quickly about curriculum. So I decided to go with all about reading and I went with level one. And then I don't have my curriculum yet for this yet, but we are gonna, going to be doing Singapore math for Lila. I chose Singapore math because I don't have the time to sit and do a full on math lesson. I plan on investing my time into the reading lessons um, and it is supposed to be a more advanced program. So if she is struggling, I actually purchased another curriculum workbook and that is called the Horizons Math. I ordered just one of their workbooks to go with it. And so what we'll do is we'll do a lesson, spend two days reviewing that lesson, and then she'll do a worksheet the next third day from the Horizons Math. That's my plan at least. 
Okay, and then the last thing that I purchased was their writing curriculum, and I purchased Handwriting Without Tears. This is actually on Amazon. Again, I feel like I need to be an Amazon affiliate because I order a lot from Amazon because I'm at home all the time. I have a very fulfilling life. All about reading, Handwriting Without Tears, and Singapore Math, um, YouTube, the Science Museum in Raleigh, um, History Museum, um, my backyard, all of those things. That is going to be our curriculum for this year. On the days that I YouTube and I vlog everything, I like put clothes on, okay? Like, not just PJs or workout clothes, I like get dressed. And every time I do, they're like, where are we going? Are we going somewhere today? What are we doing? Because <laughs> they're so used to me just like slumming around. That is so terrible to admit, but I mean, it's honesty and it's, where I'm at. Let me give show you another update real quick. Um, you know, I'm like, I've been all about that fermentation life lately, um, but I have actually started a new exciting ferment and I'm making my first kombucha. I actually received this as a gift from my neighbor. This starter kit came with this jar, as well as the tea bags, the amount of sugar to start your first batch, um, and the SCOBY. You can see the SCOBY like floating around in here. And I'm not going to go into the details of what all that is. But if you are interested in kombucha, follow along for this. Fat, juicy one. Are you kidding? Let's no. go. Right in front of him. Opening his mouth in front of it. He said with his name. We saw him eat a worm. Let me go get that one movie first. We need to get it. Wow, Daddy Bagwood. The what did you guys see the last time? Okay, so the last time, so this one was about like that thick. And it was about like that long. Oh, it was a huge worm. Well he's probably full. Yeah, but it was also moving a lot, and it also, I think that was why, because it was a little bit bigger, Yeah. and it was moving a lot. Yeah, this is their little, um, their show for today. It's like you guys are the audience. They made this little thing for this frog, little habitat, and he's in there chilling out. Chilling out. Okay, I'm getting ready to have lunch, and I thought I would quickly share that with you guys. Um, for lunch, I just had like a leftover salad. The cool part about this salad is I made my uh, homemade lemon vinaigrette, and I love the lemon vinaigrette from Zoe's Kitchen. And I have always tried to find something similar to it, but this is the closest that I've gotten. And the trick to it was actually adding Dijon mustard as well as a little bit of oregano. I just have that salad with a little bit of lemon vinaigrette. And then I also decided to make some turmeric eggs. So I had leftover rice already on the stove. So I just reheated that and I cooked my turmeric eggs. I like when I go to cook my eggs, I like to actually gently pop the yolk so that it doesn't like fall out but it stays within it and so it cooks through and I also like to cook my eggs probably on like a medium to low heat that way there's not a lot of crispy like I don't really like a hard fried egg I like like a soft fry um so it's more like a consistently white no brown markings on it anyway you just cook your egg you add a little bit of um turmeric powder and you wanna make sure to add cracked black pepper. The, clap, the cracked black pepper is going to help with the absorption of the, I think it's called curcumin or something like that, but that's the like number one anti-inflammatory um, and antioxidant properties that are found within the turmeric. So you need that combination of the black pepper with the turmeric in order to fully absorb and get the benefits from the turmeric. <laughs> I also wanted to quickly mention what the kids are having for lunch. So for breakfast, they had rice and eggs for breakfast, so I wasn't gonna do that for them again for lunch. So I just simply steamed up some broccoli, and then I opened two cans of mandarin oranges, and that is their lunch. They had rice and eggs for breakfast, so good fats, good carbs, decent amount of protein, and they're having their greens and their fruits for lunch. So there's the balance. I have a few things I wanna get done. So the first thing I really wanna do um, there's tons of little holes all in the wall. I'm in the twins room. I already have the paint and I probably won't do that till this weekend when there's not as many children here. Um, 
So I'm gonna go spackle some of these holes. I got this spackle at Lowe's. I thought it was so cool because it goes on pink and then it'll dry to white when it's ready and it's set, so. I thought that was super user friendly. Oh my gosh. So I got the spots done and I just went ahead and did a sample of the white I got. This is Benjamin Moore Decorators White and I'm having like major second thoughts here. I'm wondering if it's gonna be too bright. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. If you are a stay at home anything, mom, dad, grandparent, and you have kids around the house, like you literally are gonna feel like you're just in the kitchen all day. Like, you're either cleaning or cooking and that's all you feel like you get accomplished in the day. But anyway, tonight I'm going to be making a Dutch oven chicken, a whole Dutch oven chicken. I actually got this recipe from my dad. Thanks dad. So I'm gonna take a whole chicken, I'm literally just going to smother it down with some kind of dry rub. I recommend just buying like a pre-made rub, like barbecue rub or something similar to that, something with those smoky aspects to it as well. Pack it all on the chicken and you wanna kinda go heavy on this. So for my one chicken, it was about five pound chicken, I probably had a quarter of a cup to half a cup of just dry rub. Um, so you're gonna really have quite a bit of seasoning here. So pack it all on it, put the lid on it, and throw it in the oven. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about an hour, and then I'm gonna take the lid off and continue to cook it for an additional 30 minutes. And this is gonna be similar to a roasted chicken, but it also, to me, mimics a little bit of a rotisserie chicken. And I don't know if it's just the spices or what, but it's very delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that now. Okay, I just decided since I already have the oven on and it's gonna be on for about an hour and a half, I'm gonna go ahead and make sweet potatoes. Um, and I'm just gonna throw these in the oven to go with dinner. I'm not gonna peel them or anything. I'm gonna leave them with the skins on and we can like have like a, we can have like a loaded sweet potato. And since I'm also have the oven on, I'm gonna throw in, I only have like five of these potatoes left. They're Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm just gonna throw these on the same baking sheet and put them in the oven. All right, so we finished up that meal by having just some sauteed green beans and carrots. What I did was I put a little bit of water just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, and I added the carrots first because they take longer to cook. Then I put the frozen green beans on top. I put a little bit of coconut oil as well as some veggie bouillon and some pepper. Then I put a lid on it on like medium high heat and I, so essentially the green beans get steamed and the carrots get boiled. And then once all of the liquid is gone, they're done. So we had the roasted barbecue rub chicken with the green beans, carrots, and sweet potatoes. So that was our dinner. Make sure you guys let me know if you think this white color is gonna be too much or not enough. I don't know, just give me some input um, and let me know what you think. If you haven't seen my latest video, make sure to watch that. It is right here, and I'll see you next week.